Hi everyone, and welcome back to a new tutorial on the how to make a Pet Simulator X style game series. In this video, uh, we're going to be taking a look at how to make an unequip all button and an equip best button. And we are also going to be uh, adding this uh, text label that will display how much damage each pet deals to uh, drops and coins. Also, if you guys want to support me and want to have access to all of my project files, including the one you're watching right now, they will all be available on my Patreon in the $10 tier. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is work on an equip best button. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the button itself. So I'm going to go to main SS and I'm going to go to frames, pet inventory, mainframe. I'm going to make the pet inventory visible and I'm going to add a button called uh, equip best. So I'm going to duplicate the close button, uh, move it here and I'm going to call it, rename it to equip best. And I'm going to set the text of the label, so text, to equip uh, best. Or maybe equip best with a capital B. And now what I'm going to do is uh, select uh, the uh, gradient. And I'm going to change it because I don't want it to be red. I want it to be a nice green. Uh, I'm going to look for a nice sort of green. Why is it red from the other side? We'll change that later. But now I want, I want it to be like that. And in here, it's going to be a... I guess I want this to be a lighter green. And on the bottom, I want it to be a dark uh, green. A darker green. That's good. Okay, uh, now what I'm going to do is just uh, select both of these. Maybe I can move this one here and this one here. And equip best is going to be here. I know that's some ugly UI, but we'll we'll fix that later. But for now, I think equip best should just be right here. And the close button, I'm going to get it and put it up here. Okay. Uh, I think that's good enough for now. Uh, I'm going to reposition it and remove the closes thing. And I think that's it. That's all I need to do. Now I'm going to make the pet inventory invisible. And I'm going to script the button. So I'm going to go to starter player script, X client. And I'm going to scroll all the way down, actually all the way up, sorry. And we're going to get the uh, uh, equip best button. So local uh, equip, local equip best equals, um, Invent no yeah inventory frame call it child equip best so equip best uh, I think that's how it's gonna work yes and what I'm gonna do now is whenever we click it we're gonna equip best so uh, I'm going to make a function up here called equip best so local function equip best and what I'm gonna do in here is check if that button is clicked so uh equip best uh the uh text not the, the uh what is it okay that's the function and we don't want the function so we're gonna go up here and we're gonna change this to equip best button and we're gonna go down again and equip best button dot mouse button one click so dot mouse button one click come on connect function and what we're going to do whenever we click it is called the equip best function so equip best and in the equip best function what we're going to do is because we are in the client uh we'll call this remote unequip all pets and then we're going to do this so just like we're in equip unequipping something we're going to do that and after doing it uh we will actually equip create a uh, remote event uh, or or, a, or uh, a remote function, so remote, uh, duplicate the purchase store, a remote, and we're going to call it um, equip best. Okay, so local result or local best pet, uh, best pet equals uh, remote dot equip best on invoke uh, server. Okay, so invoke server, and that's going to take nothing, actually. And now we're going to go down here, and we'll enter the main server script. And what I'm going to do is, whenever, hmm, 
Okay, so whenever we call that remote, so game dot replicate storage, game dot replicate storage, dot remotes, dot remotes. Oh, what am I doing? Game dot replicate storage dot remotes dot um equip best dot on uh, server invoke equals function, and what we're gonna do in here is take the player. Okay, now we're gonna loop through every single pet that the player has. So we're gonna do we're gonna create an empty variable called local best pet equals nil and local best uh, damage equals or best stats best stats equals uh, zero. And what we're gonna do in here is for underscore comma v in uh. Okay, so best stats, best pet in uh, player dot pets can get children local pet stats equals uh pets. If we, do we have a folder for the pets? No. Uh, so it calls replicate storage or game dot replicate storage dot pets uh, square brackets v dot name. And what we're gonna do dot damage dot value. Okay, so we got the pet stats. And what we're gonna do now is if best stats uh is less than actually is actually no if pet stats is greater or equal to uh best stats then best stats equals pet stats and pet stats uh, and uh, best pet equals v dot name now we will uh, uh, return actually we're gonna print uh, best pet and then we will just return best pet that's going to return us the best pet's name now what we're gonna do in here is when we uh, so that's going to give us a result and what we're gonna do now is whenever this result, whenever we get this result, uh, we'll uh, basically just equip it. So, what I'm gonna do is uh, copy this. But we we'll, okay. So we already did this. Now what I'm gonna do is just copy this right here, paste it here. But instead of click templates, it's going to be uh, we're gonna get the template. So local template local. Uh, a uh, best pet template equals scrolling frame square brackets best pet and then what we're gonna do is a uh, best template best template dot name okay uh that should work i think and uh, now we're gonna see this works so three two one uh let's see how that's gonna look okay so let's see which pets i have I have these pets, uh, and I forgot to make them display what stats they have, but we have a bunny. What are the stats of the bunny? So the bunny's stats. Uh, I don't want the bunny from here. I want the bunny from here. Uh, mm, uh, yes, this. Uh, so it has a damage of 100. What about the cat? So the cat has a uh, damage of... Uh, 10. So when I click equip best, it should equip the uh, bunny. So equip best, equips the bunny, and we're all good. And we have a working equip best button. So now you can just go here, click equip best, and it will work. You can also still change it, but if I press equip best, it will actually equip the bunny, and it works just fine. Uh, okay, so what I'm going to do now is uh, make an unequip uh, alt button so i'm going to just uh, uh, make the pet inventory visible and i'm going to get my close button and i'm going to duplicate it put it right here uh, right next to this one and i'm going to put both of them on the center and i'm going to just let me just close off the workspace it's annoying uh i'm going to just uh select this change the text of this to uh, to unequip 
all and I'm going to change the name I'm going to remove the closest thing and I'm going to change the name to uh, unequip all and now we will enter the x client and we will just get the unequip all button so local unequip local unequip all uh, button equals inventory frame calling for child unequip all and what we're gonna do is uh unequip all i'm gonna do it in here unequip all oh my god i have i hate these empty lines uh unequip all button dot mouse button one click so dot mouse button one click call connect function and what we're gonna do is uh copy this right here and uh, paste it in okay so this should unequip all pets when we click on equip all which is great let's see equip best unequip all works just fine we can also spam them and they will still work okay I'm happy with that now what we need to do is make them display their damage so what i'm gonna do is just okay let's think uh okay i need to go to the template scrolling frame template make it visible and i'm going to add a text label oh there's an ant climbing on me okay uh i'm gonna add a uh, text label i'm gonna put it right here I'm going to put it here. It's going to say uh, damage. I'm going to change the size of the X to 1. Because I think it's something that's just not 1. Let's first use this plugin to convert everything. Just Maybe I can just do this manually. A 1, 0, 0, 0. Actually, no. 1, 0 comma uh, 0 0.1 or 2 or 25 comma 0 and yeah that's pretty good i'm going to resize it manually put it right here and i'm going to change the text scale property to true and as you know font for doka one best font uh background transparency one text color white uh text zero and that's pretty much it now what i'm going to do is make the template invisible again and i'm going to go back to my script in client main client or actually no x client uh whenever we create the template where is okay create template now what we're going to do is template new template okay so uh new template dot damage dot text equals uh pets square brackets pet name pet name uh dot damage dot value and what we're gonna do is set this to damage dot dot that and i think it should work okay let's see And as you can see, it says damage 10, damage 100, but I think damage is a little too long. So what we can do is um, change this to DMG or damage. And it should look a bit cleaner or maybe way cleaner. Mm, yes, but the text is a little messed up. So what I'm going to do is make this visible again. And this time I resize this on the x and then put it like that now if we make this invisible and play the game it should look a lot better now as you can see it does it looks way smaller and actually usable in the game okay i think that's going to be it for today's tutorial uh in the next tutorial since we have the equip best and the unequip all we will be covering um maybe a game pass for um or pet storage and um, maybe uh, deleting pets. 
and that's going to be it for this tutorial if this helped make sure to subscribe like the video share it with your friends and i'll see you all in the next video bye